Good morning. Good morning. Yes, doing an early one today because um, there's a lot of stuff brewing on Facebook, and I wanted to get this one out this morning before I get committed to the rest of my day. Uh, Saturday, casual wear, um, but I don't want to talk about. I'm not going to talk about a casual topic. Uh, my name is Barry Selby, by the way, and I am a relationship attraction expert, a best-selling author, speaker, and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm doing this one earlier because there's a lot of a lot of activity on Facebook, and I've got commitments up later on today, and I want to get this one done early. Um, this is message from the masculine number 149. Yes, 149. I have done a bunch of these, hence the number. Um, and every day I'm doing a different topic, or at least that's the plan. And today's topic is actually from a meme I put up a little bit early this morning. They got a lot of likes and looks on comments on Facebook. So I thought I'd speak to it, which is the idea of um, prolonging the agony. <laughs> that's one way of putting it. Sitting on the fence and not committing. And I'm just looking at a frame this. And the reality is this is something that I know is a... Um, not so much a hot topic, but it's definitely on the conversation of mind of people who are getting really frustrated with their partners who aren't committing. And it's that simple. Is and, and it can look several ways. Let me just put a couple of things on the table first and then offer some solutions because I know there's a couple of very easy ones I'll get to. First one is that for a lot of people there's always the feeling that one, the grass is always greener. Interesting with the green nail showing up at the same time. Second, that um, if they just hold on, a better one will show up, which is a disservice to the person you're with, by the way. Hint, hint. And the recognition is that this is a um, reflection of your own values. Yes, I'm going to play this one. It's a reflection of your own values. If you are somebody who would be willing to commit to a relationship that you're in, for as long as it takes, and this is, by the way, one of the keys, committing to somebody in a relationship does not mean necessarily you're committing to a lifelong path with them unless you put a ring on the finger or you commit to a marriage ceremony, whether it's a legal one or a private one or whatever that is. I'm not getting into that topic right now. It's not about necessarily that the commitment is going to require you to go beyond your comfort zone. You're committing to being with them for as long as it takes. Now, one of my teachers from my academic background um, said that the marriage vows to death to us part is very antiquated. What he believes the truth is really is till the loving ends do we part. Meaning that until we no longer love each other and care about each other and want to be with each other, and this is, this is not counting kids and other things like that, we stay together. However, when the loving ends, we don't have that connection, it just becomes apathetic, there's no desire to be together, that's a good time to perhaps walk away. Divorces happen a lot of times in a very great, great place, in a very emotionally upset place. And when there's a lot of emotional upset in the divorce, 99% of the time it's because the loving hasn't been completed. In fact, the loving is still there, but it's hidden under anger, upset, and hurt feelings. And truthfully, until you work through those layers, there won't be peace. Anyway, that's a different topic, and I may come back to that one, but let me stick to the first one, which is about being on the fence. For a lot of people, they want a relationship that lasts. I presume you do. I certainly feel that way. The relationship should not... Relationships, ideally, are not... Um, I'm going to say this. Merry-go-round rides. They're not... Put 25 cents in, well, whatever it is now, going to merry-go-round get off two minutes later. Relationship is a commitment. You can date somebody briefly, because I believe dating is the um, precursor to relationship. When you're actually in a relationship with somebody, you're not dating them, you're in a relationship with them. Please get that straight in your languaging. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday morning. I'm just throwing free, th free thoughts at you on the screen. Um, so getting back to fence sitting, fence hopping, those sort of people. Some people are unwilling to walk away because they're afraid that they'll be alone. And this is one of the biggest um, misnomers, missing pieces from this whole conversation. So let me, piece, let me put this on the table because it's a big, bit bigger piece. I'm realizing it's coming up. And by the way, if you're watching my broadcast for the first time, this is how they work. They're not scripted. They're not planned. There's no bullet point list on a card somewhere off the screen. They come as they come. So for people who are unwilling to get off the fence and be alone, their fear is that they don't want to be lonely. 
they're scared of being without somebody. Whether that's a value system, thinking that the world won't look at them right if they're not with somebody else, or whether it's just because they, they don't know how to be with their own selves, which is 99% of the time the reason. So let me just break this one down briefly for you. Being alone versus being lonely are two distinct different things. I highly recommend, frankly, if you've been in relationships a lot of your life, it would behoove you to spend time alone in your own space to, one, get to know who you are, because that's an important thing to know who you are. Like You might like who you are. What a concept. Secondly, it makes you less needy for somebody else to fill your life, because if you want somebody else to fill up your life, you're draining their life batteries. Life batteries? Okay, sounds good. But also, you're not able to have the energy to fill up their life. So it's not reciprocal. So coming from a place of loneliness, when you want to meet somebody and be with somebody, is being codependent. And let me break that one down again. So I'm giving you those layers of pieces. Being codependent is how you create victimhood. Yes. Being codependent is how you create victimhood. Because when you are dependent upon somebody else to make you feel happy, that literally means they control your happiness. You're a victim of what they choose to do or not do. Sip that one for a second. Codependence guarantees that somebody becomes a victim. Now there's mutual support, which is different. But if you are relying on somebody else to make you happy and they stop making you happy, you get upset. How did that happen? You reacted to something somebody else did. You're the victim of that. That means your power's gone. And do you want to live that way? I hope not. So backing up to what I said earlier, I'm trying to tie all these threads together that are somewhere in here, being comfortable being alone is a huge step to being comfortable in a healthy relationship. In fact, working with my clients, I don't say this out loud, but I do encourage them to spend time being themselves whilst we work together so they get to the point where they're fully in, fully in love with who they are and respecting who they are and appreciating who they are. One, because that means they're not looking for somebody else to fill them up. But two, more importantly, they won't settle for less than they deserve. And maybe you've done that before. So this fence-sitting thing is a fear-based choice point. Fear-based because it's driven by desire to be willing to have your options open because you're afraid you might commit to the wrong person. Fear-based because you're afraid of being alone and being single. And fear-based because you don't know how to deal with life in a healthy way. Well, maybe that's not a third one. It's part of the second one. So my advice, and I did that in the meme I said earlier, is like, if you're on the fence, one, it's painful to sit on the fence, if, especially if you're a guy. Um, <laughs> that's a whole other, yeah, sorry. But sitting on the fence basically means you're not willing to commit to the relationship and you're not willing to walk away. You're stuck in the middle. And that is being kind of um, being in limbo. And I don't recommend it. So if you're not willing to commit to the relationship, you do your partner, your future partner a service and your surface service by walking away. Sitting on the fence doesn't work, period. Let me be clear about this so you get this point. If you're just joining me, watch it from the beginning so I did explain a few points along the way. You either commit to a relationship to see where it goes or you commit to yourself, key, and be single. And learn to love yourself as you are as a single person. Embracing who you are and being a single person, one, as, by the way, the third piece I didn't tell you about, is when you are whole and complete loving who you are and respecting who you are and appreciating who you are, you actually become more attractive. Hmm, what a concept. Because when you're not coming at somebody needing them to fill you up and make you feel good, they won't run away. Because if you come at them like that, sort of neediness and hunger and want to be filled up by them, you know, the grabbing energy, they'll run for the hills. So it behooves you to learn to love yourself as you are single, to be comfortable with who you are, to not need somebody else to fill you up, and third, to be more attractive, to actually draw the right person in. I've said in my book several times, well, I said in my book and in my broadcast several times, that relationship is not 50-50, because you are a whole person in case you forgot that. In relationship, it's 100-100. So don't cheat them or cheat yourself in relationships. Be whole, embracing who you are, and bring all of yourself into relationship. Commit to that person for as long as it takes, and where it goes, and whatever loving brings forward. 
And if you're not ready to do that, walk your butt away. Got it? I hope so. So that's my broadcast for today. I just want to get one out early because this is my daily Facebook Live. I want to get it done early. I've got commitments. Early. I'm looking at my wrist and I've got no watch on. <laughs> I've got commitments later on. Sunnies get to those. But I wanted to get this out on the table today so you have something to think about. This is my daily Facebook Live number 149. I think it's number 149. Um, if you want to watch my other broadcasts, because I've got plenty of content out there, you can find them on my business page on Barry Serby, which is the one with my blue shirt on if you're looking on Facebook, on my YouTube channel, because I put them there too, which is also Barry Selby, and it's on the Messages from the Masculine playlist. Or alternatively, you can go to my website, which is barryselby.com, and you find a whole bunch, a plethora of topics and resources there, and it's under the video blog page there. If you have any questions or thoughts about this, please comment below, and if you have any hurt feelings or want to help yourself about relationship, I think that makes sense. Please message me directly over social media or go to my website and click on the Let's Chat link and I can support you that way as well. And uh, that, my friends, is that. Have a great Saturday. Have a great weekend. I'll be back again tomorrow. Yes, I do them on Sundays as well. Um, my Facebook Lives don't end, it seems. And I wish you the best. So take care of yourselves and take care of each other. I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs>